Hey everyone, Brian with Aero Teardrops, and today we are going to talk about the main differences between our two uh, small trailer models. Um, here we have the Burnside, and over here we have our uh, Steel HC. One's a square drop, one's a teardrop, and um, we get a lot of questions. You know, what are the differences between the two? Uh, what uh, what's in the price difference, um, and things like that. So basically starting here at the front of the trailer, you can see they're both very similar. We can do the same accessories here on the tongue of the trailer. Uh, we can do lock and roll uh, hitches and a standard two inch ball. Those can be uh, on either trailer. Um, all the same battery options are available on both trailers. Uh, main difference here on the front is on the steel HC and the regular steel trailer, the Stargazer window is um, a standard uh, item, whereas it's an option on the um, burn side. Also on the burn side, we locate the light leaf panel here on the nose of the trailer because of the, the square drop. Whereas on the steel, it's gonna be on the hatch. So um, we'll move you know, down the line here. Both trailers use the same rhino rack roof rack. Uh, they're positioned slightly uh, in a different spot because we've got all this flat roof to work with on the burn sides. Um, we can do the uh, 270 degree awnings on the burn side and then it's a straight awning on the teardrops because we have the hatch to work with. Uh, both trailers are going to come standard with a four speed max fan. Um, it's an exhaust fan, a very nice uh, high quality fan. We're really liking those. And then uh, as far as the spare tire goes, between the high clearance trailer, the steel HC and the burn side, um, we're gonna have the same fenders, the same all-terrain tires. Uh, both are gonna use a side spare and it's an optional side spare on both models. Um, the exception is with our regular highway steel, that's gonna have a donut that hangs, a donut spare that hangs from the bottom. So we'll move uh, back through here and we'll talk about the galleys. We'll get both galleys opened up here. You can see the differences between both. Um, side propane tank, uh, same propane tank and mount on both models. Let's get the galleys opened up here. Um, this, is the, this is the light leaf panel that I was telling you about. So on the hatch of the, the steel nose of the burn side. So we'll get both galleys opened up here and we'll talk about the differences there. So both of these galleys are fairly optioned out. You've got your hatch here on the steel and then the burn side, you have a, a single cargo door. There's a latch here to keep the cargo door in place while you're using the galley. So you can see the differences here. I'm gonna flip on the lights. Both have uh, overhead lights, which is really nice. So between both of them here, you see very similar upper cabinet. And that's true. They're both the same cabinet. Um, they both have the same electrical system. So full electrical system in both models. Where the main difference is between these two is the structure of the trailer. So the teardrop is a, a much more complex trailer for us to build. We have to build this hatch. We, you know, we've got all the engineering here in the, in the hinge and sealing that all up, making that all work efficiently. We're on the burn side, it's a square drop. So we're using a, a pre-made cargo door. door. Uh, it's a, a bulkhead basically and there's a lot less that goes into the structure here. Still a very robust, strong trailer, but as far as labor and assembling goes, um, this is where all the, you know, all the difference happens and reason for the lower price and, and things like that. Um, you can see below each counter that there's you know, quite a difference. Um, the countertop is shallower in the burn side. I think we're at about 16 inches where we're at a full depth counter. I believe it's 22 to 21 or 22 inches on the uh, steel. So 
You've got a lot of prep area there. Um, this is, you know, as far as function goes, you know, the, the steel galley, you're gonna have a lot more options that you can do. Um, you can do a sink in the steel. Uh, it's gonna, they're all gonna have this middle cabinet. And you're gonna be able to do, you know, more options at the simultaneously in the in the steel. For instance, this has the Dometic pull-out cooler. And this is the pull-out stove and the sink, which is similar to the Burnside model that we have over here. This is our adventure package. So it has the pull-out um, refrigerator, also the pull-out stove, but it's a little more compact. So in both trailers, you still do the optional Propex furnace, uh, Fres Air cooler. Um, yeah, so, so both trailers you can load up with quite a few options. Uh, of course, the Burnside, its options list is a little bit shorter than the, than the uh, Steel and the Steel HC. But we just wanted to highlight the differences so that everyone can see um, what we've got going on between the two of them. So here we are inside the cabin of the steel and um, you know from the door forward uh, the trailers are exactly the same. So door opening is the same, all the accessories up here in the front, the cup holders, corner shelves, reading lights, even the mattress, they're, they're the same and common between the square drop and the teardrop trailer. Um, the main difference is your space up here above the floor uh, where your cabinetry is positioned and um, you know the accessories that we can do in the center console here. So this steel is a little bit special because this customer decided to do um, just a simple shelf up here and what we would normally have is our upper cabinet. So it'd be a three-door cabinet and it's identical to the cabinet that we're going to show you in the burn side. The main difference is because of the curve on the teardrop, this upper bulkhead moves closer to the front of the trailer. So your room above the bed, so to speak, is a little bit shorter. So um, the burn side is going to feel more spacious. Uh, the floor is the same. So between both trailers, we're going to use the same mattress. It's going to be the same length. So as far as sleeping goes, um, it's not going to feel uh, much different. So, um, but in the steel, we have a lot more accessories that are going to be uh, mounted here in this console. And then on the burn side, you have a shelf under the cabinet. So we can wander over there and take a look at the burn side's cabinet or a uh, cabin, and uh, you can see the differences there. Okay, so here in the burn side, you can see you know the underfloor storage and inside table are in the same spot. Everything in the nose of the trailer here is identical to the steel that we have um, behind us. Uh, the difference uh, is, like I said before, this rear bulkhead. You can see how far um, this is pushed back versus the steel. Because of that square drop, we're able to do that. We're also able to add these additional windows in the burn side. So the trade-off is, is you have two additional opening windows in the burn side and the stargazer is optional where you know you only have the three window option in the stargazer or in the I'm sorry in the steel the steel has that standard stargazer window so you could have five windows in the burn side which is pretty cool you're gonna have these um, opening windows here in the doors opening windows here in the sides and then your um, stationary stargazer window in the front and we offer curtains you know magnetic curtains for for all the windows so it's a much simpler design inside the cabin you know you don't have the center console you have the shelf here a uh, propex heater this is the thermostat for that and then the solar controller and everything mount back here on the bulkhead so storage wise pretty close to the same same upper cabinet here um, just a little more space above the bed. So on our website, you know, we have a, a trailer builder 
for each one of these. Uh, you can go on the website and click the build your trailer link and um, you can configure both a burn site and a steel and see how the pricing matches up. Um, base price wise, there's about $5,000 of difference between the two. The, uh, the base is um, uh, just under 16,000 on the burn side and I think just over 20,000 on the steel HC. So you can see that. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to play with the builder and uh, if you have any questions, you can give us a call at 503-597-8714 or shoot us an email, uh, sales at arrowteardrops.com or you can always message us on our social medias. Thanks.